Hello everyone, it's been a while since my last video, but I bought myself a new razor and I really wanted to show you this. It's called the Defender Jewel Head, and it's a little bit different from other razors out there because it's specifically designed for people with sensitive skin. Not only is this something that someone asked me to review when I was looking at the Philips One Blade, but I've also seen this plaster on Facebook on an advertising campaign, and I thought, you know what, I really want to try this out. So what have we got here? Well, this is the Defender Jewel Head, and as the name suggests, it's two cartridges on a single handle. The idea is you can do an up and a down stroke in the easiest way possible. Personally, I think they're trying to reinvent the wheel a little bit here, because I can't say it's ever been that tough just to turn the blade around. But what is interesting is the actual design of the blades. Now, I could talk about this in great detail, but I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit more concise. So I'm just gonna sum up the bullet points. Okay, so looking on the packaging here, We've got three blades with independent suspension. So the idea is that all of them can pivot and they can also sort of flex as well. Now this makes it a lot easier to contour around your face. We've also got embedded safety guards. So the idea here is that it should reduce any sort of nicks, bumps and scraping across the skin. There are a few options on Defender's website. You can either go for the single handle that you may be more familiar with or you can go for the dual head system like this. After that, you can either go for a normal, sensitive or extra sensitive blade. I'll post a quick image so you can see the difference between all of these. However, it may be better just to visit their website to find out a bit more. I did find out that there is a company called Bold King that do almost identical blades and single handles to Defender. And there's also, including in the package, this one is apparently called Rolling Razor, which I think I've just bought. It's just been repackaged and they forgot to change this part. So I did a little bit of a search and apparently you can actually get this with even more options from something called Rolling Razor. So, it might be worth having a little search online. It looks like these are repackaged. Not that's a bad thing, but it might just be worth doing a little bit more research if you are interested in buying one of these. But what's probably most interesting about this is the blades are spaced further apart. So the idea is it doesn't tug on individual hairs as much, and it also makes it a bit easier to clean. As a result, Defender's blades don't compete with each other to cut the same hairs. This allows each hair to be cut with minimal resistance, guaranteeing a pleasant, comfortable shave, even when shaving only once a week. So I bought the jewel head because it comes pre-installed with two sensitive blades, and I found that it works out a little bit cheaper to buy it this way, rather than a single handle and sensitive blade pack. However, I'm also going to remove one of these blades now, and just use a single blade, because in the end this is just for testing, and I don't see the point in potentially blunting two blades. About four days ago, I tried out the sensitive blade, and I'm going to show you that video now, but I'm also going to try out the extra sensitive blade in a minute. i also like to let you know that I used a hot fan oil on my face for a couple of minutes just to soften up the hair, and I'm also using King of Shaves extra sensitive shave oil. I'm trying to think what the sort of technique of using this device actually is. I think you're supposed to use your thumb and forefinger, but I don't know, is that... I'll give that a go. I guess. I mean, it's all right. You, you definitely can't cut this on a single pass, though. <laughs> so I can see, I can see the thought behind the design. Unless you're really pushing against your skin, which you're not really supposed to do, I think, if you've got sensitive skin. Um, then yeah, I don't know that I'd do it on a single pass. Yeah, it's definitely pulling against the hair as well. It's not bad though. Like, you know, my skin's not actually going red right now. I mean, that's a good thing. Trust me, that's a good thing. All right, cool. Tell you what, actually, that's not too bad. I was uh, fearing the worst for this, but it's um, so far so good. I hope I don't jinx that because I see a little bit of redness coming up now. But um, it's not bad. There's a little bit of stubble that I don't think you can really see on the camera. No, I don't. Mm. Can you see stubble? All right, okay, just take my word on, on, on this one. Uh, there's a little bit of stubble. I know I could get a close shave if I shave up, but right now I feel a little bit tingling around here, so it's probably gonna flare up a bit red, which is kind of rubbish. But <laughs> I'll look back at this in maybe 15 minutes time, see how it is, and um, if it's not too bad, I'm going to try the upstroke, and then, and then you'll see, and then you'll see. Okay, well that's interesting. There's quite a big difference between this 
extra sensitive blade and a sensitive one. This almost glides over as if it's not doing anything. Um, I mean, that's the way they make it extra sensitive. I think the actual guards probably are a little bit higher or the blades are a little bit lower. So it doesn't scrape across your skin, but it also doesn't really do much. So on one hand it works, but on the other hand, it's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. This is something I've definitely noticed with the other blade as well. Around my chin where there's sort of a high density of hair, I guess. It does tug quite a lot. And uh, that's pretty much, in my mind, a sign of a blunt blade, or at least not a very sharp one. I think this is probably one of the better selling features about this. You can get in really close around the sort of nose there. And I know this is something they sell that the top blade is quite close to the top, which is good. You don't actually get that on a lot of blades, I, for some reason. Tell you what, I don't think you can see it on the video, so I'm going to take a picture of my phone. I'm going to do a selfie for you, so you can see what, what it's actually like. Tell you what, I'm so impressed with the extra sensitive blade. I actually am going to go for the upstroke. It may give me shame rash. It should be actually interesting to see if it does. Um, but I can't go around with this. It's just, it was really pointless using this, actually. Right, well it's definitely getting closer, but it's missing loads of patches. I really don't know why. I don't think that's done to technique. I'm laying this pretty flat against it. All right. I just think it's a bit blunt. It kind of jumps across the skin. Right, once again, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but there's little patches around there. I think when it jumps, it just misses a spot. I guess I've got to finish the job now, but I almost regret it. <laughs> Actually, I feel like I, I might finish this off properly later because that's that's just goddamn awful. This is crap. I've got blood all over me. My face feels like it's on fire. <sighs> this is not a happy experience. All right, time to use something proper to finish the job. So that's the way it's supposed to be done. Just. Ignore all the blood that's from the previous shave, but it just glides over, there's no tugging, you get a clean shave. You know, that's how it's supposed to be done. So, yeah, once again, I'm, I'm loving this. Okay, so let's assess the situation. Well, Defender, I'm afraid to say I'm not really a big fan of yours right now, because that was a pretty unpleasant shaving experience. However, I still don't see the point in the jewel head either, because it doesn't really seem to offer any ergonomic benefit because you can just turn over the razor. But as I was saying earlier as well, you still have the potential of blunting two blades at once, especially if you're doing the down and the upstroke. Plus, if you're in an area like us where you have hard water, then you're also going to be blunting the edge of the blade, and it's already pretty blunt, so that can't be a good thing. Okay, so I've written down a few bullet points that I'm going to go through now, and I'm going to start with the good because, well, I'm feeling nice today. <clears throat> so, well, the blade definitely contours around the face well, and that had me impressed because there are a lot of shaving products out there that don't seem to make it around the chin very well, and that does include the one blade, so, you know, they've done well there. I also think that it was easy to clean and it didn't clog, and that, has some, that is something that I found other products do suffer with, so when you sort of clean it in the sink, you get little bits of hair sometimes stuck in there, and that can make the products a little bit less effective over time. However, this is really where it starts to go downhill, and the sharpness of the blade is really what let it down, because not only did the blade tug against the hair a little bit, it also skipped across various patches, just leaving just a really uneven shave. With the downstroke, yes it might not have caused much irritation, but it wasn't very effective either, so once again a pointless experience. So that was not only unimpressive, but it's also really put me off Defender as a brand and maybe just razors in general. I probably will just stick with electric from now on. But I think this is something that could be addressed. So, you know, I don't want that to be too disheartening. I think, you know, if you address the sharpness of the blade, you might actually have a good product here. Overall, I've got to say I'm a little bit disappointed with this, which is a real shame because on paper it looked very good. However, it just didn't really seem to perform as well as it said it would. And I still think that the one blade I used about four months ago and reviewed that really was good, so I'm sticking with that. However, if you haven't got super sensitive skin, you know, this might be a good product to check out, I, I don't know. But I don't think they're there yet, because the blades don't seem sharp enough. So that's a real shame, but you know, it's, it's points for improvement. I, I really do applaud them for trying something different, because every other blade I've seen 
just seems to be another variant or copy of the other, so you know, at least they pushed the boat out and tried something different. But anyway, if you'd like me to review other products, then do let me know because I love to review things. It doesn't have to be shaving related, by the way. Just send me a message and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, have a good day and I'll catch you later.